What up, Earthlings? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Marin, and on my channel, we ride the spiral. Hello, my beautiful people. I hope you are having a wonderful day or night wherever you are in this universe. And let's just get started. So if I get this video up in time, it is Friday the 13th, 2019, and it's a full harvest moon. This hasn't happened since the year 2000 and won't happen again until 2049, I think. So I woke up feeling this moon's energy today. I felt amazing. I'm ready to manifest and do some witchy stuff. So I hope you guys are uh, manifesting, getting out your journals and your vision boards, whatever you got to do to get in that mindset to do it. It is so powerful. We are also in this 999 portal until about September 18th. So there's a lot of old baggage and stuff being released. A lot of old patterns are going to come up, but feel them out and write them out and then release it and let it go. So with all of that being said, let's just jump into today's video. So in today's video, I want to talk about your spirit guides, angels, guardian angels, um, your higher self, if you want to call it that. Yeah, so I want to talk about praying and connecting with your spirit guides because I think it is so important, especially if you are trying to become the best version of yourself, you're trying to manifest the life of your dreams, you really need to communicate with your angels. So I don't think we are ever alone. We at least have one guardian angel. Some of us have multiple, but we have angels. Our ancestors are always watching us. They're rooting for us. They are guiding us. But here's the thing, you guys. We have free will here on planet Earth. That's one of the benefits of Earth is we have the free will to live the life that we want. So our angels cannot interrupt that. They can't help us unless we ask for the help. So here's the key is you have to ask them. I literally talk to my guides now more than probably real people, <laughs> but I am always talking to my angels and my guides. This video is also going to be about a meditation, ancestor altar, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to touch on that because for me personally, this has been a game changer. I set up an ancestor meditation altar um, about maybe a month and a half ago and it's been crazy like it's been so amazing I mean I always since I started this journey have been talking to my guides but setting up an altar like a safe spot really puts you in that zone and you just feel so much more connected I have a meditation altar if you live in a house with other people try to find a secluded area that you know nobody's gonna mess with that's your own private little place if it's just like a drawer even somewhere or a closet even somewhere that you can go to really just quiet your mind and on this altar you are gonna want to have um, all of the elements so earth fire water and air so for my earth i have tons of crystals and stones i also have a himalayan salt lamp for fire you can use a candle you can also burn sage or um, incense sage and incense can also be used as the air element as well and then for water i have ocean water because i literally live on the beach i also have seashells so you can use seashells as water as well or you can just put a trusty glass of water on your altar it's also beneficial to have maybe uh, pictures of deceased loved ones any ancestors but if you don't that's fine i don't have any of those things because my whole family lives in minnesota i live in florida i just don't have that i do have a picture of my deceased cat that uh, used to be in all my videos he passed away but um I fully believe he was one of my spirit guides, so I have a picture of him on that altar. And yeah, just whatever you can get on there, just set one up, you guys. Look up the benefits of an ancestor altar. It's insane like how connected and how many more signs and synchronicities that I have been seeing since I started this altar. And it also makes me like I, I'm so drawn to my altar now. That's where I give myself tarot readings. It's where I meditate. It's where I visualize. It's where I say my daily affirmations in the morning and at night. And I, it's something that I really look forward to doing now. Before that, I mean, you can meditate anywhere. 
I mean, you always have yourself and everything is within, right? But I personally think it helps to set up a little space, be it a closet, you know, somewhere in your house that's quiet that you can go to and that's your safe space because it really, I look forward to it now. Like instead of coming home and, you know, turning on the TV or whatever, I like to just go to my altar and light some sage and clear the energy and give myself tarot readings, do my affirmations. And it's crazy like how once you start really talking and connecting to your guides like and asking them for help, like how insane it is and how many realizations you will come to when you start doing this. I'm going to give a few personal examples because I love when other channels, I love when people talk about their experiences and what has happened to them because I think it's inspiring, it's motivating, and it goes to show that like this stuff is real because I think that talking to your guides is so important, you guys. They are rooting for us. They want to see us thrive. They want to see us happy. They want to see us live our passions. They want to see our dreams come true. They want to help us, but we have to ask for the help. We have to connect with them because once you start connecting with them and asking, open yourself up, you know, give whatever troubles or anything you're contemplating, give it to them, release it to them and say, clear and transmute this, help me figure out what to do next. And if you are open and listening to the signs and synchronicities, they are always answering us. I have a whole video on signs and synchronicities. You should check that out as well. I'll put a link in the description box. So for me, I'll give you an example. So once I started my meditation altar and now I've been getting into tarot readings and I do a tarot reading on myself at least once a day. So for about a week, I kept pulling the mother healing card. Every time I gave myself a reading out of my mermaid's oracle deck, I kept pulling mother healing, mother healing. And I was like, why am I pulling this card? You know, I had a perfect childhood. I don't know any issues that we have. Um, you know, I, for the most part, have a great relationship with my mother and there was never any issues that I could remember growing up. So I was like, okay, I trust that this means something that I keep pulling this card. So I prayed to my angels and I said, you know, guide me to whatever this is. Help me figure out what this is that I need to move on from and release. Fast forward a couple days later, I was at my altar again in meditation. I had um, a really good meditation music on in the background. And out of nowhere, I had this thought and it, it was like, it came out of nowhere. And it was like, your mother lost her father. So my mom was pregnant with me when she lost her father. She was seven months pregnant, seven months pregnant. And I was in her womb attached to her, growing with her seven months pregnant and she was dealing with the loss of her father who she was very close with. So she is going through this grief, all of this sadness and grief while I'm in her stomach. And it hit me that while I was in her, you know, because we are very in tune with source energy and who we are before we're born and we are programmed. I remember being like, oh my God, I want to absorb all this sadness for my mother. So I was in her womb and I tried to absorb all of the sadness for her. I was trying to protect her. And it, that clicked in my head. Every time I talk about this, I get emotional, but I, I just remember, you know, I wasn't necessarily like super depressed growing up, but I wasn't the happiest child. And there was always kind of this, this cloud over me. And my mom will tell you that I just, there were a lot of times where I just felt sad for no reason and that clicked in me and I was like, this is no longer my sadness to carry. And I told that to my guides. I said, this is no longer my sadness to carry. My mother's doing great. You know, her father is still with us. He's probably the one at my altar that made me have this realization. He's still with us. Energy never dies. My mother is happy. She will see him again. This is no longer a sadness I need to carry. And I just started bawling my eyes out for like 15, 20 minutes straight. And the tears just kept coming and coming and it felt so releasing. And it's because I asked my guides and they had that realization come to me at my altar. And I've had profound experiences like this more than just that. And I've only had my altar for a short period of time. But you guys, if you ask your guides, they will help you with anything you need help with. It's it's a miracle. Like, it's like, why wouldn't you ask them? 
we are taught that it's bad to ask for help, to be independent and stand on your own. They want us to ask. They want to help us. They are rooting for us. They are our cheerleaders on the other side. Start talking to your angels because I promise you, anything you're struggling with, finances, motivation, whatever it is, relationship, ask them to help guide you. And then look for the signs and synchronicities. Listen to your intuition when you're in meditation. You guys, this is so powerful. Speak to your guides. They are listening. They are always with you and we are never alone. I don't care how lonely you ever feel. They are always with us. I'll give you one more brief example just because I like, like I said, I like sharing these stories because I love hearing other people's stories. So I'm going to incorporate, you know, things in my life that have happened. So I'm going to be in a wedding coming up soon in a few weeks in the beginning of October. And I was stressing out a little bit about it because I have to travel to Minnesota and you know, it's, it's costing me quite a bit of money just to be in this wedding, getting there, you know, fees, you know, wedding dresses, presents, all of that stuff. So I was kind of worried about it. I said, you know what, I'm going to go to my altar and I'm going to give this stress to my guides. Help me release any stress or fears I have about being able to afford traveling for this wedding. And I let it go to them. The next day, I happen to be on Facebook and you know, Facebook has uh, Facebook memories that pop up and I don't always look at them, but I happen to click on it. I made a post six years ago, a post saying, I said, what are good websites that I can find cheap flights on? And I have been trying to remember this website since I found out about this wedding. So for months, I have been trying to remember this website because I know that I used it all the time in the past. And it was really, really cheap tickets. Like it finds the cheapest ticket for you out there. I have been trying to remember this. A day after I asked my angels to help guide me, that popped up on my notifications from six years ago. Like what are the odds that I posted about that the same time year six years ago? So I found the website and I found a ticket for under a hundred bucks from Florida to Minnesota round trip. The other, the other tickets I were looking at were like $300, $400. This stuff is real, you guys. They are helping us. But you have to ask them. And don't come from a place of like begging like in this despair frequency. Just communicate with them. Talk to them like you would talk to a friend that you trust. Communicate with them. Say, you know what? I'm, I'm stressing out about this. I need help. Guide me you know, help me. They want to help us, but we have free will. So if we don't ask, they cannot interrupt that. They cannot intervene unless we ask. So I just wanted to get on here and tell you guys this because it's so powerful. If you want me to make another video and going more in depth about ancestor meditation altars, I will because there's a lot more to it. Like I have ancestor money that I burn. I have, you know, you give them offerings, but that is a whole other video. If you guys want me to do an in-depth video on that, I most definitely will. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you have a meditation altar and also let me know any um, like profound insights or like aha moments that you've had in meditation and speaking with your guides. So I hope this video helped you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Click that notification bell as well so that you are always notified when I upload. And yeah, thanks so much for being here. To all my lovers out there, I send you love and light. And to all my non-lovers out there, I send you extra love and light and many hugs. And always remember to love yourself, guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.